All right, we are packed for final delivery. Uh, just leaving with the virtual reality camera, which will be filming a spacewalk from the International Space Station. So, I will be escorting this beauty out to Wallops Island, Virginia, where we will be launching. For the past two years, through our collaboration with Time, uh, we've been filming Space Explorers, the ISS experience aboard the International Space Station. And now it's time to push the envelope even further and take audiences outside in the vacuum of space. It's been four and a half years and it feels completely surreal that we're ready to launch now. The process of sending anything up into space is incredibly complex and these cameras have been no exception. Go as far forward as it will possibly go. This is quite a large piece of equipment. A little nerve wracking, wasn't sure it was gonna fit in my car, but I have two large Pelican cases here. Oh, it's tight. I went down uh, yesterday, I folded the seats down, got the tape measure out, but I kid you not, there's zero margin. So it's 34 inches, and I have exactly two spots for the 34 inch cases, so. Oh, like a glove. It's been extremely tight schedule for the final stretch here. This summer, we've had to adjust our delivery date with NASA a couple of times due to different challenges we've encountered. So we've had machine shop delays due to COVID. We've had a hurricane in Houston that potentially could have threatened our ability to ship uh, the system from Houston to DC. I wake up to a call last night that the uh, dedicated FedEx truck that the camera was on on its way to DC had broken down somewhere around Mississippi. Just another little thing that came up at the last minute. So let's hope there's no more of those coming our way. But right now we are heading on to Wallops Island to hand the camera over for packing for flight. All right, we've made it. So this should be the lighter of the two. It's sort of the last inspection and checkout uh, prior to getting loaded onto the vehicle. Um, see cam drive. 2010 of those. So when we receive cargo, we'll verify the parts to the paperwork. We do a checkout just to make sure they're they're not broken or damaged. Once we do that, we'll pack it into a, a cargo transfer bag, which we have various type sizes, labels for the crew, and so they'll know what's inside. Yep, they, they won't miss these. That'll be easy. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, guys. The past six months, we've been uh, building this rocket up from scratch, and this morning, we had the rocket completely finished. So what we did is we roll it out from our integration facility. It's about a mile and a half trip up the road here, and then we roll it up the ramp. We have to go very slowly because when we're in a horizontal position, we're putting extra loads on the end of the rocket. So we can't let it go more than a degree either direction. And occasionally, we do need to stop and level out the rocket, make sure it's still level, and then we can pick things back up again. Just like this, exactly like that, all the way to the right. So once we get within 24 hours of launch, our payload team, they will get in uh, to the rocket and they will load very precious cargo. This is very time sensitive cargo that has to get out to the space station within a couple days or things could start to go wrong with it. Did you get it to seat fully? There's so many firsts on this mission, but certainly it's a first for us delivering something of this size uh, so close to launch. So on day of launch, we start about eight hours in advance where we get everything buttoned up and finalize on the launch pad. During the last, it's about 80 minutes, that's when we start loading this rocket with fuel and liquid oxygen. And at that point, we go ahead and get the rocket off. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is obviously a huge moment for everyone on this call. Capturing a spacewalk in virtual reality has been a dream long in the making. The footage that we're going to capture in the vacuum of space is going to be something truly special. And I deeply believe that uh, the immersive experience that we will create with this extraordinary footage will have a profound and powerful and lasting impact on audiences across the world. I'm so sorry you guys cannot be here to witness this. Let's, let's, let's see this thing off. Three, here we two, go, y'all. Oh my gosh.
Engines at 100%.